Hey everybody, Rocks and Box 90 here, back with the second part of our drafting Quad 9S's Cube. And in the first pack, we pretty much did what I always do, which is we go for the more universal, but also the more splashable, useful cards that we can, as well as cards that are bombs, because generally bombs vanish pretty quickly, and we want to already start setting ourselves up to a curve of what we're looking for. So now we're up to the second pack, and I'm doing the three draft pack, and then like one video at the end about how I try to put a deck together that I think would be functional. So let's take a look at this pack. Do we have anything that's universal? We have another sword, so that's almost automatically a first pick for us, even though there's other good cards here, like we have four fetch lands. Wow, this is not shuffling very well, but I'm pretty sure you all, I mean, I always go for the sword. I don't know if it's always the right pick, but... There's no soul ring or anything competing, so we're going to go for the sword. We have two swords now, which is amazing, the two old swords. So now we're still looking. Stab of Domination is pretty ridiculous, and it is quite splashable. Do we have any other crazy bombs here? I'm not seeing any. Anything that's... I mean, Tinker could be really good. Karmic Guide is fantastic. But Staff is just so good. It's so universal. It can work in so many decks and also work against so many decks. There's very, a lot of options. I'm going to go with Staff of Domination. Okay. Whoa. All right. Primeval is pretty ridiculous as a bomb. Ajani Goldman is surprisingly crazy in, lim in cube, limited in general, but cube in particular, I find he, he does a lot of work. Let's see. Simic. We're not really running blue. It's, uh, he's really powerful, but I'm really leaning towards Primeval, even though he's not necessarily the best limited card when he was in the core sets, he's often game changing in cube. So I'm going to go for prime level here. All right, we're still looking for bombs. We also need to start a little bit thinking about filling out our curve. So we're not really running a lot of black at this point, which means chances are it'll be at most a splash color. Uh, we, so I'm not sure we want to go for that. Ravenous Baboons is another way. He has a lot of non basics in this cube, so that does matter a lot. Parallel Wave, I find, is also really good in terms of removal, because I don't really see any major bombs here. Obstinate Ballot could also fill out our curve, in that, but then we'll have three, four drops in this mana cost, which is a bit awkward, but not that aggressive. So let's think about, let's think about removal here. So honestly, I think, I think Ravenous Baboons is the choice for me here. I mean, Parallax Wave is also really good. But Ravenous, I think I'm gonna go Ravenous Baboons here. Okay, Woodfall Primus is huge in green. Angel Serenity is also, they're both three of the color, which is a bit annoying, but they're also huge bombs, and I think we're going to go for one of them. I don't see anything else that's super crazy here. Not really, although we also need to start thinking about our curve. Usually around the fifth card, or ten, five to ten cards in, I start looking for curve fill out. So let's still keep going for bombs here. Angel Serenity or Woodfall? Angel Serenity or Woodfall? Angel Serenity or Woodfall. Woodfall is nice because if it dies, then you hit twice, but Angel is kind of, is, has a better evasion. Hmm, it's tricky. I think I'm going to go with Angel here. Okay, whoa. Oh, we also remember that Red in the last pack, Red was clearly not getting chosen, not getting a lot of love, although Imposing Sovereign, again, locking our opponents down is very nice. It also is a nice aggro card. Burning Tree replaced itself. Um, I really like Imposing Sovereign. Wow, okay, Mox Opal doesn't help us at all. Some of these blue cards don't really do much for us. Wow, this pack is a little rough for us, even if we go black, which we're really not going at this point. Um, wow, this is really awkward. I think Vraska is probably the best card for us in this pack. But she's a bomb, and she's also splashable, given our colors. Um, yeah, we're definitely leaning red, white, and green at this point, and we'll have to figure out what we're doing splash. Red, white, and green. We could splash black if we get enough splashable blacks. Like, Abrupt's really good. Trigon Predator. We're not really doing much with blue. I really like Thalonite Hermit. In some ways, Spear is just so good, because it's removal on... I think we're going to take Spear. Well, we're back to our first pack here. Okay, so we no bombs, but we do have removal. That's what we're looking for to fill out fill out our curve a little. Marshall Coup is really good. Smother is really good. Although it's very, uh, 
we really should have at least one Wrath. Martial Coup is really good if we're, we're being aggressive, which we seem to be. So I'm going to go Martial Coup. Um, hmm. We have more Wraths. He's, now, we, we are in almost in the last... A, after this pack, we're going to be aiming to fill out our curve. So we could go for a little bit of ramp, but we are looking also for evasion. I really like the Solitary Champion. Both of these are really good. Um, uh, I think we're going to go Indrik. Okay, so now we're filling out our curve. So we are running green-white most likely, which means neither other query. We're not really... We're not running... Lightning Molar is nice for aggressive, very aggressive, but I think we're going to go for neither Reliquary or Kazali Pride Mage. Not sure which is the best one here. It depends. Uh, hmm. Really depends here. Which one's more effective? Uh, we're not really running a lot of non basics at the moment, so let's go for Kazali. Uh, all right, so we're not running blue really at all. We pretty much ended that thing. So we're looking to fill out our curve, destroy that creature. Yeah, Orin Viper is really good. Putrefy, it's really, it's gonna be tough to splash black, given our colors. Let's uh, let's grab the Viper. Price of Progress again. Not, lots of non basics. We're not running blue, so I think Price of Progress is probably the best card for us. And since we are trying to fill out our curve, let's go Jackal Pup Stink We Den. Okay, so that's the end of the second pack. And as we can see how it's coming together, we have a lot of really good green stuff, a lot of good white stuff, a little bit of splashable black stuff, and red is kind of filling out our middle curve. So we do have too many colors at the moment. We definitely are not doing blue. So the last pack, we're going to have to think about the kind of ignoring blue and just go, going for our main colors. So we'll come back and deal with the last pack draft in the next video. If you're enjoying this and you want to see more of these kind of videos, tap the like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I'll be coming up with the next video very soon. As always, Rocks, Box, and 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.